know this is Guitar Made Easy by Kizito. I hope you guys are good. If this is your first time on my channel, please smash the subscribe button, and smash the post notification bell. All right. Without further ado, welcome back to Guitar Beginner Course Grade Two. All right. I know you guys have been with me since Grade One, and I really appreciate it. All right. So the last lesson we did the last time was working on groovy strumming patterns, right, to like help beginners advance into playing songs way better and working on their strumming pattern and adding on to what they know already. All right. So today we'll be working on how to use guitar picks when you're strumming and what guitar picks you should use. All right. So this is one of the lessons I wish I heard, I, like, I got access to when I started playing guitar because I had no idea what to do. I didn't know what picks to use. I just used any and I found that most of them started breaking with time and it didn't work. So the first thing I want to talk about is what guitar picks to use. So there's a lot of questions. Beginners always ask questions. Should we use the hard, thick pick or should we use the nice, thin picks? All right. So what I would suggest is if you start some guitar and it's your first time playing guitar and you're not as good as you would want to be yet, I would suggest you use thin picks when you strum it. So the thin pick I use is 0.60 millimeters, right? USA nylon. That's the one I love using a lot. For beginners, I would suggest you use the thin ones. Why? Because when you strum it, when you play some lesson, for example, we're playing the chords C, you see how nice the pick just runs through all the all the strings without complicating stuff for you. Let's try to use the, the hard one. Let's say you're beginning, your fingers are not used to all that. You can hear the roughness of it. Right? So this will be good for someone that is advanced. Right? But if you're not advanced, please use the thin picks whenever you play your songs, strumming. For example, let's say we play G, E minor 7. Remember, this is all the chords I taught you last week. So when I'm playing this chords, it shouldn't be new to you, okay? But if you haven't watched this video I'm talking about this, it's something up here you can click and use it, right? So, E minor 7, C at 9, and you have your D sus 4. So, if you strum in and you start in, I suggest the thin picks. But, if you want to strum and peak, then I would suggest you get a thick, pick, uh, a thick guitar pick. But the one I have right now is 2.0 millimeters. This is extremely thick, so this wouldn't be wise for someone that is just starting. But you can get like a pretty thick pick. So when you play, for example, when you play your scale, this is our G minor pentatonic scale. I just taught you guys two, three lessons ago. So thick and thin pick. And one more thing you need to understand is if you don't know how to hold your pick, I have found videos on this. I'll put them up somewhere here again so you can go watch them. Manipulating your pick is not really difficult, right? You just need to get comfortable holding it. And whenever you're playing a song, let's say for example you play and then you notice your pick starts slowly turn it, don't panic and don't stop playing because of that. So what I need you to do is to get comfortable with holding your pick in a way, even if it turns, you gently bring it back to place. So like I said, I have videos on how to hold the guitar pick properly. I'll put them up here and you can go check them out so you can make, make it easy for you to hold guitar picks and hold it properly. All right. So thin pick, when you just start it and you strum it only, right? But you can use a thick pick if you want to pick if you want to pick strings easily. That's if you're not a beginner. So if you're a beginner, stick to the thin picks until you are able to play your scales properly with the thin pick, right? And then you can move to the Thick pick so it can be a bit more clear. Alright? And that's the lesson. So I hope this video was really helpful. If you don't know how to hold your guitar picks, please, I'm begging you, take your time and watch the video I have on this side. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will see you.
see you guys next time.